hi guys welcome to digital tech join in this video i am going to show you how to enable runtime compilation for razor pages now i was working on this project which is uh, developed on visual studio 2022 using dotnet framework 6.0 so i am using an mvc uh, project over here and i realized every time i had to make any changes in the razor pages that is cs html i had to stop the debugging and restart the application for example let me show it to you right away when I run this application, I click on the module. Now the data is loaded. Now I want to make some changes. I want to change the theme. So what I do, I go to the CS HTML. This is a table class and I wanted to make a darker shade. So I say table and dark. I save it and I refresh it. And I realize the change is not reflecting in runtime. So what I had to do, I had to stop debugging and then execute my application again. Now this was taking a lot of time during development for even minor changes I had to restart the application. Now if you look at the changes is reflected now. Now in order to enable runtime for Razor of a controller, you need to add certain packages and add a line of code in your program.cs file. Now uh, this was by default enabled in version uh, previous version in uh, 3.0 and uh, below. However, after 3.1 version, this is given con this control is given to the end developers that is users like you and me to enable it. So in order to enable it, what you need to do, you go to packages, NuGet packages, and add razor razor runtime i'm adding a razor runtime right now in my example Oops. okay so i select this microsoft asp.net core razor runtime compilation okay and uh, i think so this is the class Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC Razor Runtime Compilation. Click on Install. Accept. And this is getting installed. It's already done. You go to Install. You should be able to see yeah so the runtime is installed now after this package installation you will go to the con program.cs file uh, just below the web application dot create builder you add a line builder dot services dot add razor pages dot add razor page compilation this is the line of code you need to add it now let's go ahead and check whether it's the changes are getting reflecting in runtime Okay, so the page is loaded. I click on the module. It will load the table with the dark shade. Now I will try to make some changes. Go to and I remove this dark table and I click on save and I will try to refresh. Yes, you see now it is the changes are getting reflected while my application is running so i can go ahead and show you one more change so that you just i'll just try to add this over effect in the table so i just click on over and i change 
and I refresh I click on save and I refresh you see the changes is reflecting runtime so that's it guys this was a short video just to enable and you know, provide you the tricks and tips so that uh, you save your time while doing the development I'm sure you like this video please do like the video and subscribe to my channel for such uh, tricks and tips thank you very much guys